they are asking parents not to risk with their children because teachers have walked away to look for their money. They are not in school. So not unless they give their schools to the members of Board of Governors, because teachers are not there, including principals, because they are also members and they are affected. So what we are asking uh, parents is that to keep their children at home until the government calls off the strike which they have called. Mm. Because this, this strike has been called by the government. Okay. Because when you keep quiet when there is a problem for two months, that is what you expect. But there are those who are saying that this strike called by the, that Kupet is insisting on mm. is ill-timed. In fact, they're saying there's some sense of malice. You're doing it at a time to inflict the maximum pain. It's the third time. Exams are coming. Parents are worried. Students are worried. What would you say to that student and that parent who's the watching? The strike is not called by the unions. The unions were driven to call for the strike because this CBA we are talking about, this MINET we are talking about, this JSS we are talking about, and many others, the employer has had, has had them for a long time. We have been discussing these things. We have been trying to reach out. It has became, become difficult. Okay. So for us, the trigger of this strike was the CBA, which was not honored. And you can see the trend in the country. This is a government of Kutenda, to Metenga, to Mefanya, you know, all these things. So teachers feared that uh, their issues should be forgotten. Okay. Because if you can withdraw what is in the agreement, you cannot take care of the teachers' health okay. who are giving services to the government. You want teachers to teach for free. Yeah. I mean, okay. that is where we are. So, Esbon, 